Hello everyone, once more, I'm back in the kitchen, and this is my second show of the week. Uh, for those that are following me, let me tell you, uh, yesterday's uh, uh, bean soup, uh, the first part of the video, you can see that it's vertical, but I am trying, yes, I am trying. Uh, I, I'm, I know what I got to do, you know, it's, it's a lot of work, but yes, sorry for the first part of the bean soup, but then the next parts are good. So bear with me guys, but anyways, for on this occasion, I'm bringing you what is called this beauty food, lasagna. I'm gonna cook you a lasagna with no meat. For those uh, my vegetarian friends, my veggies friends, you know, don't like meat for whatever reason, my respect, but here is, I'm gonna make you a vegetarian lasagna, and all I'm gonna use is this. I'm gonna go through the basics because uh, my shows, like I say, I'm, the pasta is there, lasagna pasta is there, right there. I already have my uh, boiling water ready, ready to go. Uh, we are gonna use it's just uh, not many uh, type of vegetables, but I I will I will use the spinach because I'm gonna put a lot of spinach in it. Guys. It's already clean. I just bought it and. I don't go through the uh, trouble of cleaning my spinach. This is already clean, right? So why not? So spinach, I'm gonna use artichokes. Also in a little bottle. And we are going to use three types of cheese. Cottage cheese. Uh, you can also use that other type of cheese. It's called the ricotta cheese. But I'm using cottage cheese, mozzarella, and the beauty of right here is called feta cheese. Ah, this is a beauty, guys. This, this is, I love feta cheese. I do love it. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna cut a little bit. I'm gonna eat it. Mmm, I can eat it by itself with some tortillas. Anyways, so three types of cheese. I don't worry too much because uh, uh, the size is already uh, made. So I'm gonna use marinara sauce. There's a lot of ingredients. You can see garlic, onions, tomatoes. So it's pretty, uh, sort of like a heavy sauce and, and uh, really aroma, right? I'm gonna use garlic, minced garlic, uh, some uh, cayenne pepper, spice it up a little bit. Salt and pepper, simple. And at the end, I'm gonna garnish it with basil. And this is it, guys. This is what it's gonna be, uh, the lasagna, what's for dinner uh, tonight. See, this is what I mean. When I turn my camera this way, I feel like uh, like the angle is just gonna, but let me, let me, okay, hopefully not. Okay. So I'm gonna see the water boiling. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna throw the uh, pasta inside. And we'll just let it boil, let it cook, let it cook, and that'll be it. But before that, I'm gonna just put a little bit of salt. Not much, not much. And here we go, our pasta. I am using this, uh, this pot or pan, guys, because last night I used the, uh, the big pot for my bean soup. It's still, it's still, the beans are still in there. So this is gonna start dissolving. The pasta is gonna start cooking. Uh, make sure you don't overcook it. Make sure it's not undercooked. Uh, and for that, it's gonna take probably like seven minutes, six, seven minutes. Just keep checking it up. When it's done, uh, right away, take it out of the heat, put it in cold water, and keep it on the sides because we uh, it's gonna be ready for the prep uh, for the lasagna. I am using this uh, roasting uh, baking pan. They're very, it's very nice. I know I'm gonna have a lot of food for this week, so one day will be me uh, bean soup, the other day lasagna, bean lasagna, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I am cooking, guys. So right here, I'll leave you with that. Uh, on my next clip, it'll be the mixture of the cheese. All type of cheese with garlic, and I'm gonna put um, some of the uh, sulfur herbs. I'm gonna use basil too. And it's simple um, uh, dish, guys. I'll see you in my next clip and uh, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Okay, I'm back with the uh, vegetarian lasagna. 
And as you can see, our pasta is already done. I turn the heat off. And right away, we have to drain this and put it in cold water. It is because you can uh, uh, you don't want the pasta uh, to keep cooking in hot water. So once you put it in cold water, the the cooking process uh, will stop. So I'll come back and I'll bring you this, the mix, the cheese mix. And then after that, well, we'll make you this, the sauce. The lasagna sauce, the vegetarian lasagna sauce. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, guys, this is the cheese cheese filling, for, the filling for uh, our lasagna. And all I have here is 100, almost 125 grams of feta cheese. It's already been broken. And we're going to start with the mix right here. Simple. Remember our, our cottage cheese? I put about 250 yeah 250 ml of cottage cheese cottage yes cheese is good and no matter what cheese is cheese is good and we're gonna use the mozzarella probably another hundred 150 grams uh, more cheese why not this is, a girl, this is gonna be our lasagna filling this is gonna be so great and, and like I say I see you measure what you're cooking right and because this is one of my uh, probably the second time third time that I'm making this lasagna see I see this is very sort of dry right but we don't want it to run here so put more cottages why not there you go Oh, see how beautiful that is. This cheese is oh, three kind of cheese there. Come on. So to this, we're gonna add a uh, a little bit of garlic. Me and my garlic. That's okay. It'll cook. And parsley. Lots of parsley. Yes. Let's start mixing it. We're gonna add the uh, salt. Remember the uh, marinara sauce already is, already have some salt, so we can have like probably like not even uh, less than a gram of salt. If you want more salt than lasagna salt, that's fine. I'm cooking with mana today. Mana, one of the best uh, rock groups ever existed. So one gram of pepper. So inspire this lasagna is inspired by Mana Hazard. Rock group, Latino, Mexican group is there. So we're gonna add uh, a little bit of cayenne. Yes, spice it up a little bit. This lasagna is Julio's kitchen style. And now we start mixing. See? Beauty. This is gonna be, you know, I I think this is because uh, I have to uh Feel this right here, this hand. And I have a lot of lasagna. And you know, I'm gonna add every, oh, the whole ricotta, why not? There's never uh, too much cheese, believe me. So, this is it, this is what it is. This is gonna be a spread onto the pasta with the sauce that I'm gonna show you after this and let me have a taste because this is what we do this is what cooks you taste your mixing taste your food mm-hmm you know what you put this on uh, bread French bread Put it in the oven for a while. It got some really beautiful appetizers. <laughs> wow, the flavor, guys. Okay, anyways, I'll see you in a bit. i uh, leave you with this uh, stuffing, might be cold. I'm gonna put it in the fridge so I can preserve it for a while. And I'll come back with the sauce. Okay, this is pretty basic. This is the sauce for our lasagna. Just a little bit of olive oil. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to roast 
the artichokes a little bit. My uh, pan is preheated, and I put in a little bit of high heat. Just want to want to cook these uh, artichokes a little bit. They already uh, they already are uh, what they call marinated, but I want to cook them a bit. I want to brown them back. Yes. See? And uh, we're not putting much, any any more spices, guys, because uh, in my marinara sauce right here, I have a lot of spices already. There's garlic, basil, everything. So we're going to try to keep it a minimum. Uh, we don't want to overload. So let's make sure this is... And all this is, this is just a little bit of artichoke. Uh, it won't overpower the uh, lasagna because it's gonna be more like a spinach thing and a spinach lasagna like vegetarian Yeah, mana one of my favorite uh, rock band Through a friend though, through a friend uh, a Really good friend of mine Name is El, El Pato Carillas Watching the show is for you guys right? Come and eat some lasagna. Anyways, so now it's time to add this. The marinara. Don't be shy because it's a, it's a lot of sauce. There's a lot of, I mean, uh, lasagna. We gotta cover. So we're gonna cook this a little bit. Let me see a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. Now, if you have, if you need, if you feel like you need more sauce later on, uh, you can still have more marinara sauce. The marinara sauce is already cooked. It's already being prepared. So all you need uh, to in is to incorporate all the vegetables that you want to You want to use uh, zucchinis. You want to use green pepper. Anything you want to use, use them on your vegetarian uh, lasagna. I'm just using the basic. Just some uh, artichokes and spinach. I don't want to overload it too much. I just want to try something simple. I want you guys to uh, to get the point on, on on how the cooking process is, right? Sometimes you know that's the most difficult. So I get, let's see, uh, I got two, one layer, two layers, three layers, one, two, three. I'm gonna add more sauce. How's that? And I'm gonna leave it like that. Like I said, if I need more marinara sauce, I will. Uh, Add it after. Now to cook this, to cook sauces, make sure you turn uh, to a a little bit less than medium heat. Because sauces, they tend to burn fast. So you wanna burn the sauce, you wanna just... And like I said, there's a lot of flavor in the marinara sauce already. So we just wanna leave it like that. We're just gonna cook it for another like... Uh, What's it called? 10, maybe? No, not even 10. Another five minutes, it is be ready. And I will show you how to, yes, ensemble this uh, lasagna. Put it all together. I got my cheese in the uh, fridge. I got the lasagna cooked. And the next thing is just go ahead. Lasagna in the oven. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, this is it. This is the layers of our lasagna. And what we have here is this. Our cheese, okay, I'm gonna give you a good look at it. There you go. That's a cheese meat, three types of cheese, okay? And over here, we have what it is, our lasagna, a spinach, and our tomato sauce. Remember, there's gonna be a lot of spinach in there. It will shrink, but it's gonna be good. Okay, here we go. Mini here is this. A lot of people, uh, Use different, uh, a lot of people use uh, the same, what's it called, uh, same tomato sauce. I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, margarine. And this will prevent our pasta to stick on the bottom, okay? There you go. Now, here, first layer. It's really sort of impossible. Maybe Italianos, their pasta won't break, but mine, it broke a little bit. So this is it. These are the layers, guys. Pay attention on the layers. Uh, 
Nah, really, you can do your own type, your own uh, layer type. I'm just using a spinach and artichokes. And uh, look at this. Hey, okay. All right. And uh, you can use any type of vegetables you like. It's your lasagna, it's your thing. There you go. Beauty. Now, we go, tomatoes. No, 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 no. We're gonna go cheese. Okay, here we go. So this is a brushing, brushing thing you're gonna do here. A lot of cheese, look at that cheese. That's gonna be our beauty taste. And you gotta, you just spread it around, spread it around, work with it until all the cheese is just sort of uh, all over the uh, the bottom of the lasagna. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Look at that. And we're gonna left enough cheese. Can you give me one second, guys? This YouTube channel, come on. There you go. So my music is always stopping. Anyways, back to the kitchen. So yeah, we got enough cheese. There you go. This is nice. Look, it's just uh, you just can like feel the flavor. Now, I won't add the tomato sauce yet because I want to overload this. Remember uh, my uh, spinach. Why I bought them already clean? Because I know uh, the other uh, spinach in the brunch is already, uh, it's not clean and it takes, and because you're cooking this lasagna, you wanna make it nice. And, oh, unless you know, you have your time in the kitchen, clean your, uh, uh, what's it called? Yeah, clean your spinach. But we're gonna overload this with a lot of spinach. It'll be more like a veg vegetarian lasagna. So, you know, we load it there. Nice. And now we're gonna add tomato, our tomato sauce. This is beauty of cooking. Take your time, like I say, it's just, yeah. No rush, this is your food, this is your time, this is your kitchen. And sort of spread it around like this. See what I mean? There you go. I think we got, see this sauce is, when the cooking process is start going, this sauce is gonna start moving around, start dissolving all over the place. So there we go. This is our first layer of the lasagna. Now, we go with the second layer. There you go. If there's leftover uh, lasagna on the side, don't worry about it. This is gonna we're gonna cut it nicely when we uh, plate it. Put another layer right here. Look how that's looking. Is it, it's not looking good, guys. Come on. And like I say, food, food, good food takes time to cook, guys. I am looking for the nice uh, lasagna parts right here, but because they're, they're hard, it's hard not for them not to break, but yeah, there's some good, good looking one. Okay, here we go, second layer, same thing. Cheese, oh my God. You're gonna fall in love with this mix, cheese mix, if you make this lasagna. Now we're gonna go a little bit easier because the one on the bottom is very power. It's very uh, what's it called? Um, there's a lot of cheese in it. So now we're just gonna easy down a little bit because we don't want to overpower, right? See that? That is the trick, guys. Don't ever overpower. Balance is the key. Balance. Anything is balance. So you're looking at this, you're looking at this beauty lasagna on the making right there. There we go. Now the next step is our spinach. Here we go, more spinach. 
And thank you. This is gonna be so. You know what? For my uh, vegetarian friends out there, you know this is this is very nice dish. I mean, you can go around with this. This is like I know I've been cooking a lot of meat. Uh, you know, I'm a, I eat meat. I'm meat lover, I could say. But uh, yeah, those that don't eat meat, you know, this is a very nice and it's very tasty, guys. This is very very tasty. Spread it around. Like I say, take your time in the kitchen. That, if, you can put a lot of spinach here, guys, because you know what? This is going to shrink. The spinach literally is going to like... And there you go. Well, we just... I think that is good. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, here we go. What's next? Our tomato. There you go. No, no, I'm listening to Mana. These guys are awesome. Mana is Mana. Anyways, uh, it looks like I'm running out of marinara sauce. So, so I have more marinara sauce. Oh, there, I already made. So, see, guys, you make your own, prepare yourself. Uh, there you go. Almost done. Almost done. Okay. We are going to open another can of yes, marinara sauce. Just give me one second, guys. Just there. Okay, it's almost there, so we are going to do the last layer of the of our lasagna. Okay. So here we go, guys. This is the last one. Oh, my pasta! Look at it. That's okay. If it breaks, it's fine. As long as you don't put spaghetti in there, I don't know. Okay, this is it, guys. Uh, you know what? This is very... No. I have a better one right here. You work with what you have, guys. Okay? And find the right area, the right side. There you go. Wow. Two layers. And this is it, guys. And I'm gonna put no more. Boy, yes. The last layer. That's it. Okay. I hope you're having fun like me because this is it. This is it, guys. This is it. I don't know if, can get, if someone out there is gonna say, Julio, you're putting too much cheese. What's going on? Whoa, don't put too much cheese on yours. I like my cheese with cheese. Lots of cheese. When I order nachos, like, please, double cheese it. Come on. Okay, this is it. We're almost done. And this is like building a wall or building something, but you're building your lasagna right here. You know what? Yes, it. That's it. So, now, we are going to do, okay, here. Huh. A little bit more cheese right here. And this is it, guys. This is the beauty of vegetarian lasagna. A lot of spinach. Uh, if you like my videos, like and like and so much. If you don't uh, like them anyways, like I said. But a lot of spinach. There's no meat, so we got to eat a lot of spinach. I'll be right back. Okay, we're almost done, and our last is this.
and this is gonna be almost our ending build up of this lasagna that I believe is gonna to my oven is preheating guys by the way uh, work when you work in the kitchen you have to work ahead of time okay so food doesn't go get cold or, get, or goes dry so food yeah well, because we got a lot of sauce we're gonna sauce it a little bit. Oh, okay there we go fill up the ends and this is it guys I will finish it with the magical touch of mozzarella so when they okay hold on Come on, Julio. You be more organized with that cheese, please. Okay, here you go. So when this cheese is melts in the oh my, wow. Okay. Are we getting the point, or are we getting the point, guys? Uh, look, this is like I can't wait to see it when it comes out of the oven because this is gonna be so cheesy. Let's say thank you for watching. This is gonna go into the oven for probably 15 minutes. But I'll show you how I'm gonna put it in the oven, okay? You just don't put it like this. Don't worry if you have a little pasta left out, don't worry about it. It'll cook. What we need is the middle part. So all we need is this, guys. Okay, hold on. There you go. Oil paper. We are going to cover this for the 15 minute bean in the oven. Okay, I don't want my camera. Oh, see? It's my system, guys. It's my tech. Okay, so we cover this. We seal it nicely. Uh, goes in the oven for 15 minutes. 15 minutes I come back, I'll take the cover off and then put it back again for another 10, probably 15 more minutes so the cheese can burn on top. Thank you for watching. Keep it tight because I have still have to play this lasagna. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, here we go. So lasagna has been in the oven. Uh, first of all, uh, don't mind my burners. The burners are like... I've been cooking a lot though. So anyway, I'm going to take the lasagna out of the oven and this is it. This is done guys. Look at that beauty. Ow! Que rico. That's beauty. That's a lasagna Julio's kitchen style. Uh, I'm going to let it sit there for about five minutes. Uh, probably five, six, seven minutes because I don't want to cut it right now. Because all the juices are very, uh, it's in the, at the boiling point. So I'm going to let it sit there. And the next, I will just, uh, all I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to cut it, size, little quarters, same style they do it. And I'm going to show you the plating. Thank you so much, guys, for still being with me. And keep watching. Look at this beauty of lasagna. Isn't that amazing? And this is Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver, and I'll see you in plating. Okay, guys, this is it. This is the end. This is the Lasagna Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. Remember, this is Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. So everything that we do here is Julio style. Uh, it turned out, the lasagna turned out pretty good. I realized that it's, uh, oh, the flavor, I tasted it, it's amazing. I did overdid the sauce a little bit, like the tomato sauce. And that, uh, give me one second, guys. And that uh, makes the uh, lasagna a little bit uh, too soft. One second. And thanks to a thrilling overtime win on Friday night, they find themselves up two games to none on the... We humans are strange creatures. Other species do different... Yeah, keep, uh, keep looking at the lasagna. We're going to have some music for my place. So I'm just going to have a little bit of music on the background. Like I say, I have no... Uh, uh, team editors, whatever, or technologies over here. So anyways, this is it. This is the lasagna. It's uh, amazing. The flavors are, wow. That so much cheese. And I'm going to show you the way I played it. There you go. That's my music. Mana. Okay. 
Lasagna is there. So all I'm gonna do is this. Because I love, I love my gar, I love my food to go looking well when it comes out. Anywhere you go, you want to see that beauty of like thanks. And then you garnish it with this. Isn't that beauty? And I have a little plant right here that uh, helped me out for so many shows. And we're gonna put it right here on top, right on the corner. And look at that, that is Lasagna Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. Thank you for watching. La, leave, last but not least, least and not least, the word that I say, is my uh, beautiful Sauvignon Blanc. That goes well with pasta. I'm gonna put a little bit of wine right here. So, there you go, I'm gonna move you right here. Sauvignon Blanc. Go with this lasagna, a beautiful lasagna. Vegetarian for my friends, like I say, vegetarian friends. Bon appetit. Thank you for watching my show, guys. Always, always loving my cooking. I love my cooking. Thank you, God, for allowing me to cook. And I'll see you until next time. These are the two shows. Yesterday was bean soup. Today is vegetarian lasagna, Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. Salud. Thank you so much for watching my channel and I'll see you next time on Watch for Dinner Coolio's Kids.